everyone. Hope everyone's having a good Monday. I just want to share with you a Halloween card that I had did. Um, it just, it's an oversized card. I don't know the measurements. I'm bad about doing that. But it's just a simple card of image I colored. Then I put some uh, pumpkins there, 3D dimensional. I think they came from... Um, I don't know what line, but it's in a pack. I don't, I don't remember. And then this is just a strip of candy corn paper that I put there. Then a spider Halloween paper I had from like last year from the dollar bin at Target. And then I colored her. And then I cut out um, a witch hat with my Cricut. And then I just punched with a punch, a paper punch. I just punched some circles and I put it there and there's, those little, um, I guess, bling. They look like skulls. And then I put a bat there, and then that's a banner I cut out there, and I stamped Halloween, and it's cro crooked. I meant for it to be that way. And then I put some bling here, and then I didn't do anything on the inside. I don't know how to make cards. I just kind of played around with it. But it's just plain in the inside. I didn't put anything in the inside. I wanted to send this to Gerardo. Crafty Me 83, but last week I was sick. I couldn't really get out much, and then it kind of rained. So I didn't get to send it to her, so I'm just going to uh, hold on to it. But I just, I don't know what I was doing. I just played around with it, so I wanted to share that with y'all. Then I went to Dollar Tree, and I picked up this uh, bubblegum machine. And it's funny because I was checking out, and I happened to glance over to the side of me, something caught my eye, and I seen this sticking out. It was on like a top, top of a shelf or something, and they had this color in pink, so I grabbed this, and then I think they had a dark blue one. I didn't want the blue one. It was just this pink one and a blue one sitting there, and then I should have just grabbed it. I always do that to myself. That was from Dollar Tree, and then I went to King Dollar, and I found these cute little hair bows. And, of course, I went for uh, bobby, pin, bobby pins for my hair. And this pack was sticking, was hanging on the rack behind the bobby pins. And I asked the guy at the checkout if he had any more of these in the back. He told me no, that they were going to get some. So I really want to go back. I just think these are so cute. You can see that. Sorry, guys, I'm in a different area. Actually, um, I moved my slice machine up front to where the computer is because I've been smash booking. I'm getting into smash booking more than I ever thought I would. So in this particular area I am, it's a lot of sunlight and then there's a window it's up so you might hear some cars going by. Hopefully it's not too loud. But these are the bows and Target. I picked up this tape this packing tape at Target, and then I found these cute crowns. It was four in a pack. I think these were $1.99 or a dollar. I'm not sure. I had bought these a while back. And then at uh, King Dollar also, I had got this cute uh, polish. i never seen this brand, but I wanted to try it for the holidays. Then uh, I went back to Tuesday morning. I think it was one day last week. To see if they put any more paper pads. Um, I'm so, so in love with that. Um, Lucky Charm by Dear Lizzie. I already have three packs of those. And that day I went in, they had a lot of those 6x6. Six six. Um, but I didn't want to get any more. Because I think three is enough for me. This is the only pack that I picked up that day. It's called uh, 14. And I, never, and I didn't see this one the last time I was there. This one is so cute. It's just as cute as that Lucky Charm. And I have to go back today because um, Amy, I don't remember her YouTube channel, but I follow her. She does, um, she smashed books also. And um, she did, a, I think, was it a Heidi Swap or Amy Tangerine book? I forgot what she did. But I liked all her layout sketches she did. And she had did a video yesterday asking somebody to pick her up some um, 
Lucky Charm paper pads because she's in love with that uh, paper pad. And I had commented her and told her that I'll try to go back today because I can't part with my three pads I got. So I hope I find them for her. And then yesterday I went to Michael's and I found this cute dye. It's a bird by Quick Cuts. You can see it. I hope the light's not. And I've been wanting a little bird like this. Oh, I don't know if you can see that. But anyway, this is what it looks like. And it was um, on a clearance rack for $179, but it actually rang up $129. So that was a good deal. Then I picked up this mouse pad. My, I went to a Michaels that I normally don't go to, and they had stuff that uh, I had never seen at my Michaels. So I picked this up. And then this is really what I went for, was for this pocket pages. My big idea is I don't do, what is it, Project Life? I don't do that, but I fell in love. Everybody was showing these, and I just fell in love with these for my smash book. And this is what they look like, if you haven't seen them. Oh, sorry, guys, for the glare. And then, let's see. We have some letter, typo letters. And let's see what else they have. These are so stinking cute. And I guess they're clear stickers. Oh, I hope this glare's not getting to you. Hope you can see that. And let's see the next page. You get the idea. They're clear stickers. I'm sure y'all seen this. And uh, I didn't know these were on sale until I got up to the register. I thought they were $4.99, but it ringed up $2.99. So that's all I picked up. I haven't been doing too much shopping. I've been trying just to alter things, and I've been rearranging my craft room again. And real quick, guys, but I want to share something with you. Uh, it just dawned on me the other day when I was uh, doing my smash book. I pulled out my slice machine, and that's why I bought it up here up front where the computer is. And if you pay attention to these slice cartridges, they have a lot of cute images that you can use for your smash book, like this cupcake, you know, like the Lucky Charm paper. Uh, so I'm so in love with that, and I'm uh, doing a smash page with that particular paper pad. I figured I could cut a cupcake out. There's, um, oh, and I cut some of these. They look like tabs. I cut some of those. I'll show you what I cut out. So, guys, if you have a slice machine or even a Cricut, I cut out some images with my Cricut as well. You should bring your slice machine out and do your own um, embellishments for your smash book. I cut some of these out. Uh, this is an arrow. I cut it out in white cardstock, and then I use the, this is a brown a brown cardstock. I cut those out. Sorry, guys, if I'm putting my hands in front of the camera too much. And then I cut these cute little banners out from the from my slice cartridge. Of course, you can free uh, hand style cut these banners. And then I get this little bowling arrow. It goes with those the ones I just showed you. And then I cut this out. You and me. This came. This came from the slice cartridge, and here's the tabs that I cut out. It's a tab, and then I just folded it with my bone folder. And then I can stick these probably, you know, in the pages of my smash book. So excuse the train, guys. I know y'all can hear that. And then I cut this cute bow out. I think I used my Cricut uh, cartridge to cut this out. And then this has to be my favorite that I didn't even know I had in one of my cartridges is uh, uh, a bubble gum machine. I didn't even know I had a cartridge with a bubble gum machine. I was like, that's really, really what made me want to cut stuff out for my smash book. Oh, sorry. I, I did a bigger one, too. And then I used this paper to cut an arrow out. This came from the slice, uh, from the slice cartridge. And then I cut some wings out, and here's another piece of banner from the slice cartridge. And I cut some hearts out. 
I mean, you could just really, really look through your slice machine, your cartridge, your Cricut cartridges, and you can find some images you can use for your Smashbook. Um, here's the bubblegum machines in a bigger size that I cut out in white, and then I cut it out in this type, this color. It's a green cardstock. So I just wanted to share that, that thought with you guys, and then here's a... Um, Something else I cut out. It says Sweet Heart. I cut this out with my Cricut. So, guys, y'all start bringing out your Cricut, Cricut machines, your slice machines, whatever y'all have, and y'all can um, incorporate that in the in your smash books. It saves money on buying all that embellishment stuff. Of course, you know, we're not going to stop buying that, but just to add other stuff. And this is a bowling arrow. I cut this out, I believe, with the Cricut, but I have so many slice cartridges. Remember a couple years ago, I think two years ago, they were like, um, Michaels had did away with the slice machine, so they were clearancing out all those cartridges for a dollar or two, and I have like 20 of them that I had bought, and I just started, I just bought them out and started using them, and this is a little lady image that I cut out. I have a gentleman in here somewhere. And then this is a banner that I cut out also with the slice cartridge. Okay, guys, I know y'all don't want to see all that. So, anyways, I just want to give y'all that idea. Bring your slice machine out and your Cricut um, machines to make embellishments for your smash book, your project life, and um, all that stuff. Okay, guys, hope everyone's having a good Monday. Thanks for watching, and please leave a comment. Talk to you soon.